To prepare yourself, okay? Is it a symbol of what everybody's offering? Okay, it's a symbol of what everybody's offering, okay? Good. Yeah. Okay. Offering up what we have. Offering of, of what we have to the Lord, okay? The gifts that we have, that we have done, we offer to the Lord. Offer to the Lord, okay, yeah. You're right. All right. <laughs> You are getting it. So, let me tell you the story it really captures what the offering is. So, what do you call the table that we have in the Eucharist on? What do you call that? It's an altar, right? What happens on altars? You got it. Right? So, if you went to the old temple in Jerusalem, and you went to the, the altar, there would be these things called horns on the four corners of the altar. And then you know what they would, what you would have those horns for is to tie up the animal that would be sacrificed. And do you know why there was always incense in the temple, always burning it? So you wouldn't faint from the horrible odor. Because sacrifice was being offered over and over and over again. But we still call ours an altar. Right? So what we're experiencing is the altar of the cross. Today is the feast of the exaltation of the cross. When you look at the altar, that is the cross. Have you ever thought of that? When you look at the altar, you are looking at the cross. When you look at the altar, you are looking at the symbol of Christ. When you look at the white cloth on top of the altar, that's the burial cloth of Christ. When you look at the altar, you're looking at the cross. So it's a thing of sacrifice. And then what, what is brought up? The bread and the wine is brought up, plus our monetary offering, right? I want to tell you a funny story. I met the avid primate of the Benedictine Order, the top monk in the world. And he was from Conception Abbey, and he told us about going to Africa. He was way in the bush, way in the middle of nowhere in Africa. And he went to a mass there, widely mass there, and it came time for the offertory. And do you know what people came up with? They came up with their grains. They came up with their fresh vegetables, not their least vegetables, their best ones. And then one person came up with a goat. And Father Abbott was from America, from Conception Abbey. He's like, I'm looking for the 20s here, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> and he brings and they present this goat. And he, he didn't know what to do with the goat. So the other priest that was there said, Father Abbott, we just tie it to the altar. <laughs> so throughout the whole Eucharist, there was this goat up there. But that goat was given to the church, the best goat in the herd. So if you get the dynamic that's going on is that we are to offer ourselves, And what he was so impressed with is, is that that community gave the best of what they had. That makes us reflect on what we give. <laughs> you give the best of what you have. So we bring our meager little bread and wine. It's the most commonest of bread. It's the most commonest of wine. It's not the best Merlot. And then what does the priest do? He prepares it. And I would say to prepare ourselves for the Eucharistic prayer like Jim was talking about, to prepare ourselves, I think we should do two things. The first thing we should do is realize that when we see the bread, that is ourselves. That is the symbol of you and I being given to God. Lord, I offer myself to you. <clears throat> and then when the cup is given, I give you all my struggles, all my sufferings, all my questions, all my doubts, all my wonderings, I put them in the cup. Put them in the cup. What does that wine, what's going to look like? It's red. It's going to become blood. Right? So you put your life as there. So when you're about to start all that, think about that. We're giving ourselves to God. We place ourselves on the altar, which is the cross, with Christ. And then the priest who represents Christ is the one that offers that prayer on behalf of everybody else. So that's why the priest says those prayers and the congregation reverently listens to the prayer because we're saying, there it is, I put my life up on the table there, man. I can't do anything, you know? What's the joke? There's a joke among us priests. The day that we get ordained, we put our, we prostrate ourselves on the ground and the rest of our lives are trying to take it back. 
You know, when we 